Got to start over. We're not starting over. <laughs> no. There's no going back. We'll fix it in post. Because we didn't really start. So no. go ahead. All right. So okay. there, we, we have, I think I covered it. We have other yeah. members of the band. There are other members, yeah. There's we're. John. I mean, it's like John, that guy. It's like there are ska songs that we cover, so it's, it's like, good. You Stop staring at it. <laughs> it's fine. The, the it's levels right. are going. Scares me, man. Like, how did we not? Yeah, we got the horny, the horny team. Yeah, the horny the horny team. boys. The rap team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, then the Sweden team. The Sweden team. Yeah, oh, yeah Ludwig Gur shouts oh, out Ludwig. Ludwig. Yes. Yeah. Shouts out Ludwig. Got to get him in there. He's in the official like band press photos now. I saw that. There. I was wondering if he was photoshopped. No, yeah. no, he was there. He That's did just a, his default look. Because yeah. he does look out of place, kind of. <laughs> he's he's like the tall Swedish man. Yeah, in the in the otherwise um, short band. I mean, short tall. Band. okay. So yeah. let me. Swedish <laughs> people are good vampires. Let me <laughs> let me break down the the as best I can. <clears throat> Downhill Jam was a band formed to play covers of songs featured on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Correct. Right? Uh, you guys really like the game that much? Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think it's a pretty cool game, but... Yeah. I mean, well, they're, they're shit. not the only ones doing it. Correct. Which is shocking to it's, me. You have competitors. Yeah. Who is continents. the greatest Tony Hawk tribute band? We're the finest, by the definition. America's but finest. America's finest. America's finest. Yeah. We're the only American the cover band. And we're the oh. only one with boobs. Oh, that's yeah, true. we are the only band, all three, that so have Jason, boobs. So Jason, that's up to you like decide. <laughs> yeah, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. Case closed. Yeah, no, good argument. <laughs> that's going in the Instagram bio for sure. <laughs> so, all right, Wait, no, tell please me, don't do that to me. I'm already. I, I am gross. curious how it all started because I I did meet the guys in Australia originally, uh, Birdman, who was doing this. And I didn't know how it started. I just know they were tagging me endlessly on social media until yeah. I paid attention to them. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. so the story goes like, I'm a, I'm a notes app idea guy. So like, this was one of the many, like, this is such a, such a good idea. I gotta be this close. Okay. I'm gonna kill you guys. Just okay, know okay, that. Okay. 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 No, you guys perform yeah. on stage, right? With microphones? You know what the <laughs> We do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ooh. Got Sick I'm, burn. I'm, You've heard I'm not the right. vocalist. <laughs> I just, I don't want to, I don't want to blow anyone's ears. <laughs> okay. Um, no, like, yeah, I, this is one of these ideas where, like, obviously, m that's my music taste. Like, that's where it all started, right? In 1999, the game came out. I was eight years old, and it's just like, okay, this is now my music taste. And <laughs> Stop. Let, don't. <laughs> no, it's okay. That even hurt me. Just, this is just how it goes. Band yeah. band you were eight? I was, yeah, I was indeed, yeah. So yeah, what, was, what, was the, what was the song or the... The couple songs. I mean, it's police truck. I mean, you oh. put in the game. Yep. First oh, thing you can get that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's like no cigar on the second one. Police truck, uh, Psycho Vision. Like you know, there's songs that we were singing, screaming the lyrics to while we're playing the game. We didn't even know what the lyrics were. It's like Psycho Vision is like da yeah da yeah. It's like I don't know what it's saying, <laughs> yeah. but I'm like I'm feeling it. I still don't know what it says. Yeah, <laughs> I think I thought it said like. Psycho bitch head for a long time, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I'm screaming it. While That's I play. how I'm singing it from now on. Yeah, yeah. I think Brian, you thought uh, ground. There's something line in Superman. You're like, this is what I thought the line was forever. Oh, uh, talking to the mic, my guy. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that was me, <laughs> but I. I no, that was, that was, that was but I did agree. Yeah, yeah, somebody said it, and I was like, oh, that's ground on my fears. Yeah. Ground on my fears. The and guy, the guy that introduced me to the game, we were playing it all summer, and every time Superman was playing, he would be like, the ground on my fears, which is absolutely not even close to what the, I can't even think what the line is because that's the only oh, line I the hear. The ground on I, my feet. The ground on my feet. It makes but sense. Trying ground to keep feet. the ground on my feet. I had to learn lyrics for yeah. it. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're on the same boat. <clears throat> one time, this really intimidating skateboarder in Australia, when I was a little grom, like one time, he, like I had grip tape with checkers inside checkers, took me hours, and he made fun of me for having fancy grip tape and threw my skateboard in the trash can. Oh. Sack Reynolds. I love the guy. We're friends now, but he was an intimidating guy, had tattoos. He was like a pretty tough guy, and he came into the skate shop while I was working there, and Jimi Hendrix was playing... And he started to sing along, and he was like, is this some kind of way out of here? Said the Joker to the Beast. And I was like, that's not, that's not, that's not the, that's not the lyric to that, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't want to say anything, yeah. because I thought maybe he would bash me. 
Fair. But we made fun of him. Just so you know, Zach, we made fun of you for like two years. <laughs> I'd be like, it's not a really okay. bad lyric miss. Yours though. is the worst for sure. I've never oh heard my it. god! Yes, yeah, so I will bring it up. Do. T- sad uh, but no, true. Can, can I? Can no, I? No, because you're gonna try and soften it and be like, look, I was just saying, you were singing "Sacred Trust" for like "Sacred two- Truth." Sacred Truth, whatever. The song Sad but True. Sad but True. That's the name of it. I would song. listen to the Black Album. Thank you. I would <laughs> listen to the Black Album top to bottom, never looking at track names. <laughs> in my defense. And Sacred Truth sounds pretty badass. It does. Sad but True. Stop sad but agreeing true. with him. He's like, sad but true is like a bad royally. Sad but True is like a bad diss. Like, I just, oh, I sad I just but wish true. that I could go past you on the freeway <laughs> and your window's down. You're all, Sacred, Sacred Truth. Sacred Truth. You'll be like, what? Nah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Oh, hey, fellas. This episode of Hawk vs. Wolf is brought to you by our favorite producers of Ball Trimmers, Manscaped. 2023 is on its way, and the last thing you want to is to be the, the guy with the pubes getting in your way of making it your best yet. Man, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is the leader of performance package of the Performance Package 4.0, or as I call it, the perfect package for my package, Manscaped. Engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on intelligent functionality and an incredibly comfortable grooming experience. This new year, shave the loose pines off your wood with the best tool for the job. <laughs> the signature lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped is here to take down every pube in its path. <laughs> Having trouble dealing with wild weeds in your nose and ear? Manscaped has you covered. Their weed whacker will change the game for you to whack your worst weeds. I think confidence is going to be king in 2023, Jason. Good, Tony. You know what else I'm confident about? Smelling like a million bucks. You do smell good. You asked and Manscaped answered, introducing introducing the brand new Manscaped Persevere body wash and Persevere cologne. I got the body, the body wash is excellent. Have I you smell persevered? Like when trees you in the it? forest. When you, wait, you reading that? No, I just riffed. Oh. Talk about being clean, feeling and smelling good. The new preserve, Persevere. Persevere. Persevere body wash, thank you, from Manscaped. Solves all three for the perfect addition to your daily grooming routine. But in, uh, but in, the, but shower, in the shower. Thank you for yeah. Yeah, punctuation. This body wash <laughs> has a light, woodsy, see a woodsy scent. And is infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. The new Persevere cologne is like the body wash with a light woodsy scent that answers the call of the wild by leaving you smelling like a man forged from the earth. It is also cruelty-free, dye-free, paraben-free, and vegan, so you know you're in the right hands while smelling right. That's right, Tony. Get 20% off. And free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash hawkwolf. Again, that's 20% off with free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash hawkwolf. Happy New Year to your balls. That's it. Well, Guys, are you looking for the perfect gift for your partner? Why not give them the gift of a few good rounds of fun this holiday, courtesy of bluechew.com? Bluechew is... Uh, it, it's you can you order it and it comes in a discreet package so no one has to know that you're uh, large and in charge and they they're very convenient. I am a member. I don't even get them free. I pay for them because really? yeah because I did a Bluetooth read and then they gave me some and I was like these are freaking awesome. And then you've been buying them ever since. Yeah, maybe you can get some free ones. After I this. can hold numerous wet towels. <laughs> <laughs> and now they have. The Vardenafil mint flavored chewables with Ooh. the active ingredient in Levitra and Staxin, so you can start hard and fresh. They really work, guys. I would check it out if you're interested in any of that stuff. And we have a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code HAWKWOLF at checkout. Just $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code HAWKWOLF to receive your first month free. Thanks, Blue Chew. Thank you. Get on there. Consult with an expert. 
uh, one of their med- licensed medical providers. Once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. So good. And it's all done online. Rock hard. Um, but yeah. Sorry. So no. <laughs> back back <laughs> to the formation of the, we, of the band. Have, it was just like sort of like, a, and others I'm sure this speaks to as well, is it just like it was, this was our music taste. And so it was just one of these ideas at some point you go like, there should be a band that just plays that music because all this music. But you, but you started, I mean, you yeah. skipped a few things. You started playing music. Oh yeah. After that. I mean, or of course. You, I oh, you weren't even musicians? I oh, you were eight, sorry. Yeah. You what? I wasn't. No. Ryan I mean, taught me guitar. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we want to do another, like, I can't believe these people are friends, you and Jack Black, because School of Rock is what in, inspired me to start playing guitar. And oh, what? The movie. Yeah, the movie School Sick. of Rock. Man, I feel yeah. so old right now. Um, it's, <laughs> anyway. The movie was the other day. I know that movie feels like it does feel like it was like five years. It was, eight. Eight. It was in two thousand three. Two thousand three came out. And just the fact that you guys know each other and are friends is is another just like <laughs> everything makes sense. <laughs> well, in my he life. skated. He skated back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love it. I love it. It's making my life all make sense. Everything <laughs> gels. Everyone knows each other. But um, yeah. I guess at some point, uh, Brian and I started jamming because we're both we both play guitar and we're like, let's just get together and do something. And I was like, let's. But I have an idea. Let's do. A Tony Hawk Pro Skater cover band, and I was just like, you know, the internet has like ruined every like, uh, essentially like illusion of original thought, right? <laughs> sure. You like this is a great idea, and then you Google it, and like twenty people have already thought of it. But this one was like, I saw uh, Birdman THPS mm-hmm. shouts out Birdman THPS um, in Australia doing it. They had a Facebook page, but they hadn't like played shows. I don't know exactly when the first show sporadic. was. It's pretty sporadic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was like, okay, someone's thought of it, but it's like not really. A thing like you have Zeppelin tributes, you even have like now you have Green Day tributes, yeah. you have everything under the sun like that. But this isn't a thing that's like been explored. So I'm like, we got to do this. And then just didn't do it until like maybe three years later when uh, w- drunkenly, like at a at a Fourth of July, we were just like looking a Fourth of July party. My my wife actually was like to Maggie, like Ryan's trying to form a band. You should be the lead singer. Well. She knows I love karaoke. Yeah. And yeah, so I give Bianca all the that credit. That was your experience with singing up to that point, was karaoke. Yeah, I mean, I tried out for the high school musical and I did not make it. So, so no, did le- no lessons. <laughs> Friggin' nerds. But when you were singing karaoke, you had an inkling that you were able. Because it's pretty apparent when people do karaoke and they don't have that ability. Yes. It's kind of the whole point. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> I... Yeah, and I... When Maggie you got up there and you were like, hey... This girl's singing the song correctly. I, yeah. I can read There's the lyrics no usually. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, no, when, when Maggie does karaoke, people take their phones out and start filming. That was really weird. That happened oh, wow. the other night. Yeah. Yeah. I was singing Zombie by Cranberries, and it was like literally just like four people like, whoa! And I was like... Good song. You practice in the song. shower or something? Like, where'd you get your skill? Uh, I mean, I sing everywhere. Yeah, like I used to be a PA, so I'd be like singing everywhere. But, and, but was you know. that the gateway? Was, was that the gateway karaoke? Like, oh, I, I am not afraid to project... Yeah, of course. Like I just, it's a, it's a fun outlet. And I used to be, a, I used to do a bunch of shit. Like uh, I swear, shoot stuff. Um, we can, we can swear here. Okay. Well, I used to work with kids, Jason's and so here. like you just always had to have like a big personality, and it was just like, kids just have no filter. They're like, your face looks weird today. Like, I was, I was <laughs> impenetrable after being a teacher. Yeah. It's like, what are you gonna say? I did a bad job karaoke. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> At school, a kid said your face looks weird. Yes. That's- kids have no filter, dude. Like, if, like, I was breaking out, they're like, why are there dots on your face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because of you! <laughs> <laughs> they do not care. You do not have you do not have feelings if you're an adult. Was it hard not to tell the kid that he looks like a moron or something? Like, look at your shoes. Did your mom do those up? Because you probably did. I mean, I knew, like, for the most part, it was, like, fifth grade boys. And I'm like, I know you're wildly insecure right now, so I'm just going to deadpan you and give you no reaction because I know that's what you want, and I would just see right. them shrink. Right. You know, you just got to knock them down a, a little peg, you know, a little one, a little one. <laughs> so what what age were you teaching? Um, elementary, so like K through five, but usually like third through fifth grade. That's what my daughter wants to do. She's thinking about doing that. that it's a choice. You can do it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'll tell her that. Yep. It's a uh, shit pay and uh, teachers should be paid $100,000 to start. because I agree. You're the re- you're responsible Truth. for... Like, making humans be responsible in life. Literally, like, I've had to, like, there was a time where we had, like, a, a bomb threat at our school, so we were all, like, locked on lockdown, da-da-da, 
And this one fifth grade boy who was like, you know, not normally like a troublemaker or whatever. He's like, I really got to go to the bathroom. And we're like, well, you can't. We're in lockdown. But we had, you know, the earthquake kit that has the um, bucket that is Commode. made for <laughs> using the bathroom in oh, those kind of times. people made up the kids' dress as furries. No, what? <laughs> you know that bullshit went around for a long time, but a bunch of people were saying, my friend, who's a teacher, has somebody at school that is that oh, yeah, says that, they're stop. a furry and now they have to poo in the kitty litter. Yeah, no, oh, no, this class. is like emergency. No, she's talking about emergency, like... Like an earthquake yeah, I'm trying to tell you that the I know story came about. from that. <laughs> like there's actually a... It's like sand oh, or something, right? I've never heard right? that. I... Like Maybe. the kid that you're talking about. No, it was in a literal bucket because it was like an you earthquake. You just pee in a bucket. Yes, and everyone had to be dead it's silent. Yeah. I'm from, a, I'm sorry, I'm not so an earthquake survivor. It has like, I didn't know it's like that a bucket that has lucky. like dried foods in it and water and then you can like a little if seat. If you get trapped in that room yeah. from an earthquake, no, there's no access. This is supposed to keep you alive and it acts as a bathroom. What about yeah. dookies? Whatever, what about whatever goes Sur in there. Man. Survival, whatever man. goes in Dookie there. Dookie as a kid in a room. Desperate times, Jason. Desperate times. Well, that would be gnarly. and the part is, everyone had to be dead silent because it was like there's a, an active bomb threat, so we can't talk. So you just hear <laughs> just this kid pissing <laughs> in a bucket, yeah. and that was when we're like, oh, I man, cannot that, do this for seventeen dollars an hour anymore. Mm -hmm. I got it. Really, go. that was the end. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah, wow. I was like, I gotta. Wow. I, I'm not dying for this. I'm sorry. Wait till you become a parent if you do. Uh, it's so fun. <laughs> that that peeing in a bucket thing, like never that is a drop public. in the bucket, <laughs> literally, of the stuff you're going to deal literally. with. <laughs> but yeah, point being, once kids make fun of your face, nothing's scary. And yeah. you can sing in front of anyone. I feel like Tony has the same thing with when he was growing up, people were always talking shit. And then when it got to social media and success, he was like, yeah, it's I've true. heard this all before, yeah, yeah. but yeah. to my face. To my face. And in print in the magazine, um, that was cool of him. Okay, so, <laughs> so your wife wrangled me in. You that drunkenly that you need to start band. Yeah, and uh, and then literally a week later, Ryan's like, "I'll come over," because like I played guitar very briefly in high school. Um, so I'm like, I know some things, and my roommate at the time had a guitar, and so he's like, "Yeah, I'll come over next week, and I'll start teaching you things." And you know, in LA, it's like, "Oh yeah, we'll get together next week," and then like 95 percent of the time, it doesn't happen. Ryan's scheduling. He's like, so when am I coming over? I was like, oh yeah. shit, we're, we're really, we're doing this. We're yeah, doing this. Yeah, yeah. And we were, we started doing it. But you were a fan of those soundtracks too? Yeah, but what's really funny is one of my favorite songs playing it was um, um, Power Man 5000. Are you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. It, I cannot sing that because I do not have a rah, voice. The vocal fry. Yeah. Uh, and I tried singing it. I was like, wow, it's so weird because this is my favorite song to play too, but I... <sighs> do not care to perform it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really I mean, hurt. there's so many good songs that it's like, we play an hour set and people don't even notice the ones we don't play. But it's like, yeah, so just, nobody really notices. Are you trying to focus on uh, certain uh, versions? Or certain, of, of the songs? Like, one, no, I mean like the games one through four. Cause oh. like once you get into the Project Day, American Wasteland, Underground, right. there's the, the catalog's pretty deep. Yeah. It was it was actually surprising to me that all of those games had their own original soundtracks. I had no idea mm -hmm. um, because, you know, I think I was just following my bliss. So I was like, I like the first four games. Oh, those are cool. the songs I want to play. Ryan's a purist. <laughs> I'm like, this is the only way that I'm going to be able to do this every Tuesday regularly. Get the band together is if we're just playing the ones that like we all like. So then, you know, obviously, once everyone gets involved, it's like, all right, we each have like a this must be part of the set list, or right. else we're not having fun song and for me yeah. it's, me it's police truck i gotta play police truck i'm not just saying that because you said it's your favorite song well i mean yeah, I, it is it is yes <clears throat> i said it way before and thank you for i, I didn't even know what was gonna happen at, that you were gonna sing too i was so thankful that you were singing <laughs> and also because i screwed up that one verse but um but fine. thank you but it, i i actually and and i don't usually i cringe hearing stuff especially if it's like recorded um just for audio but when I saw it back just from the audience, I was like, oh, that was actually, that worked. Yeah, no, it worked. It cool. um, yeah, and for context, I missed the uh, sound check because I was ill from the night before. Mm. You guys <laughs> like to party, I see. <laughs> we like to party, or I Good do. For you. <laughs> the, the, the band was born from partying, <laughs> and it almost fell apart from partying, right. evidently. It's a band. During that show, yes. Yeah. Oh, it was <clears throat> rough day. I've had, had, had a girl sing with me because I was in a band and there was a couple of songs where this girl who's a proper singer, she would 
perform those songs live with us. And every time she got up there next to me, I was like, oh, this is, if she was here for every song, I'd be so much better. <laughs> because she was, I would hear you her. Key, you key into her. Yeah, yeah. It, would just, it would just help me. And she was always looking over like, yeah. And I'm like, really? Okay, I'll keep going then. Like it was, she was very supportive. So it does, it does make it way easier to hear the correct It's like tone. when you sing along to songs on your earphones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, I know the words, but then if you don't hear the words, you're like, I don't know the words. Y- yes. <laughs> Does yeah. that ever happen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so many songs. Not a, at this point. I feel like I've just it's muscle You've got memory. Them. Right. Um, but I think like even when we introduce new songs, I think we're pretty good at. Yeah. Like we, we're now we're we're a band. Yeah. Four yeah. years later, we're a band. I mean, we're like actual musicians now, which is crazy. This yeah. is your job. Um, no. Oh, no, we got day jobs. <laughs> right. Yeah. How did you guys get drunkenly rubbed into it then? <laughs> I don't know if everyone else was drunk in the oh, okay. in. <laughs> you know, soberly. I, I don't remember how. I think Ryan. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Ryan just asked me. I think I had expressed interest in wanting to play an instrument at some point, and he was like, "Oh, we need another bassist because Brian was going up to second guitar." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's, yep, it's a hierarchy. Yeah, he got <laughs> up, moving, up, up. moving up or sideways? Which <laughs> a lateral? Yeah, uh, same right, side of the lateral. stage though. So yeah, it's yeah. a promotion. <laughs> it's a slight. It's a slight promotion. I think. Yeah, I think it was yeah May sixteenth. We're like. Mm-hmm. I'm like, at the end, there's two guitars and a solo. Maggie plays the solo at the end. I'm like, so someone's got to play bass, so we need another bassist. And so I was like, can you play this one song, May 16th, with us? Because we have to have it in the set list. And she was like, yeah, I'll play, come and play one song on bass. And then, you know, yeah, it's like, what do you have, like 10, 12 songs on the set list now? Yeah. Well, you do keyboard. So, <clears throat> yeah, I addicting. started off Nobody not can... playing any instruments, and then I yeah. joined the band, and I was like, all right, I guess i got to figure this out. And I... Wait, you of- couldn't play an instrument? No. You learn how to play guitar as you join the band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need it. I need that push. I'm just kind of a little scatterbrained. But so you figured I have it something out. Something that like, like, all right, I'm gonna structure for this band. I just. Uh, how long did it take you to, you know, hold a, a song? Um, <laughs> I mean, I think it took me like six months to get comfortable with like the frets and everything. Yeah. Um, but like a year until I was like really playing like fully through the song without like. And now you play guitar, bass, and the keyboards. Yeah. And you didn't play any instruments until you joined the band. No. It feels like the band is is the springboard to it. This band is School of Rock. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Is that what I'm gathering? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't skate either. I mean, I skated as a kid, um, but when I joined the band, I was like... I don't want to be a poser, so I need to at least be able to ollie. Wow. Okay, I've seen I've seen the yeah. videos of you learning. You're definitely not a poser, and you no. definitely take your hits. Mm, yeah. She's got some, some heavy slams. slams. Yeah. Yeah, my my back remembers those for sure. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where yeah. do you where do you post these slams? So I like watching people slam. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're on my Instagram. I have a reel, a couple reels of of all my fal- my falls compiled together. Cool. Yeah. We've got a whole music video of slams too. Oh yeah. Just no all cigar. of you slamming or every yeah, the, yeah everyone yeah, yeah everyone. we all yeah. take some hits. It's but your yours stand out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, okay. So like when I first started learning to drop in, like these guys kind of skated, but I feel like they didn't really know how to like teach other people how to skate super well so um you know i instead of maybe getting an assist and going in on a like shorter quarter i just went for like the six foot drop and i just was like all right i just have to commit to it i'm just gonna lean forward and of course i never leaned forward enough and i fall back onto my tailbone Uh, and then i did it four more five more times over a few months and um yeah and then i got it eventually got it yeah. yeah yeah someone was you doing a heel flip Kickflip. No, I do kickflip. Kick For the yeah. longest time, it was like my kind of claim to fame in the band. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like really <laughs> the only real skater in this yeah. band until yeah. somebody We're else could Tony do Hall it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater cover band, and one of us can kickflip. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, well, I, I have met the other cover bands. I don't think anyone really skates that much. I, I don't think so yes. either. But Are you yeah, good at the I, video game? Sierra is good at the video game. Yeah. Yeah. Man, We're just, all good at the video game. Though. We're not <laughs> scared. We're all all trades, huh? I, I played the games a ton as a kid. Like I'm she a, started playing the game when she joined the band. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, she, not surprising she if that's yeah. true. <laughs> no, I played as a kid. Like I was definitely like an Xbox. Like, well, I played it on PlayStation, but yeah. Okay. Um, but when the remaster came out, obviously during COVID, I I Perfect. racked yeah. 70, 80 hours at least. Just you know. Damn. Yeah. Tony, Tony, what is your high score on the game? 
Oh, uh, I really don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that to try to avoid the subject. <laughs> I really don't know. I think I, when when the remaster came out, um, I was getting definitely over a million okay. on just you know doing a freestyle warehouse. trick run, uh, either warehouse or Marseille. Oh, okay. Oh, Marseille. I, yeah. I got I got some lines in Marseille. Nice. Yeah. A little doing, bit of a doing left field choice. Doing handstands across the flat. A little bit of a left field choice. I like that. Yeah, it, yeah. It's your choice to make. <laughs> well, and it's a real spot that I've been to, so I, oh, that cool. Holds I true. like that. Yeah. <clears throat> right, cool, um. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what's your high score in the game? I don't know. He was in the game. He was a feature character. Yeah, I was a hidden character. In, how do, in how do you which one? Hidden Five? featured, whatever. I used it? it in my comedy in now of uh, the uh, in American Wasteland. Yep. Yes. Yeah, that I, I I didn't make it as a character in the video game because of my. Uh, Party life, doing mm. coke and stuff, and like I'm, but I am a hidden character. You can type in a code, and you can see me in an alleyway doing coke and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. that's a, no. <laughs> wow, that's a team. The last part is not true. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a serious Easter egg. <laughs> and so, how, how did, I'm? I'm so curious about you guys start doing this. You're learning songs. How do you promote, get gigs? It all seems so, I mean, I, I know it's niche, but I also know that people do have a reverence for the soundtrack. So yeah, <clears throat> how do you find those people? Um, well, it's obviously it started <coughs> with just our friends. Um, so we just told everyone we possibly knew that we were doing it. Yeah. And then they had to come to the first show. So, I mean, it was just like in LA, you can get a, there's certain venues that you can just like, they'll put you on a bill with a touring artist, even if they're like small. So mm. the Mint in LA was our first show. And there was like, luckily there was like a really great touring band called the Foxies from Nashville that like, they they were, had like some level of following. So there was a few people for them that came and saw us. And so there was, it was mostly just our friends. Mm. Um and it was a great show, and we killed it. And we crushed it. We fucking crushed. <laughs> and that always helps uh, to put on a good show because I feel like it's the thing is like some you'll get like at the shows you'll get fifty percent people who really get it, and then the mm. other fifty percent who are like, okay, but we put on a good show, so that was fun. Yeah. And uh, yeah. for the most part, like when you just play a venue show in LA, like you're not gonna like it's got to be. It, it is so hyper specific that I feel like our best bet is like a themed night or something mm -hmm. like, or like at a bar, like, I don't know, like Alex's bar in, in Long Beach is one of those or like punk rock venues or like the whiskey was a, like a bigger one for us. Um, but that's like, you know, you're kind of making a deal with the devil because it's pay to play. So you have to sell a certain amount of tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had to have, <clears throat> sell 60 tickets for that show. Well, but we lucked out. You have to, yeah, the deal is you have tickets. to sell 250, to, like you have to pay them 250. Yeah. And then you get a certain amount of tickets and anything past that is in your pocket. Right. Yeah. Which we sold a shit ton because, you know, the, we're playing at the whiskey, the right? That's like practical. that's cool and everyone wants to come. And we got on a bill again with Zappa. That was totally random. Yeah. Zappa plays Zappa? Zappa plays Zappa yep. with... Um, with the, the sun, uh, yeah, Dwe Dweezel. Dweezel, I think. Yeah. Oh, shit. And uh, so that was just Pretty luck. sick. He yeah. plays his yeah. dad's stuff. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. They were great. Yeah. And I feel like that might have been what got your attention. Because I feel like we got on your radar. Uh, when after people that. tag me and stuff, I see it. <clears throat> yeah. You know, so um, in there, if the. Here's the, the dirty secrets. If you tag me in your story, I will definitely see it. Yeah. Um, if you tag me you in your story, you don't caption, want that information out there. Don't you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You got an editor? That people already know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, but so then I, you know, I was paying attention. And also, there obviously there was the band, <clears throat> the, the band in Australia, Birdman, then the one in uh, the UK, the 900 band. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was stoked to see someone in the US doing it. Yeah. And and I was just always so curious about the inspiration, the background, whatever, and and what what was the motivation for for doing it. But also, I, I was I guess in my eyes, to me, it was it's, it is niche, and and I don't I'm not trying to overinflate mm -hmm. the game and the soundtrack. So I'm always like, oh, that's cool, they did that. Like, yeah. Then they'll go on with their life yeah, and do right? other things. Yeah. But the fact that it's but everyone continues to do it, so yeah. it's really cool. I mean, Birdman's going on like four years or something, and I think even longer. Yeah, maybe even longer. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then um, 
And these guys have been around for four UK? years now. What's that? We've been around for four years. Oh, okay. Now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so cool. And so and so, I'm down to help however I can. Um, I had Birdman come out to play a, a big um, our 20th anniversary right. party for the game. Yeah. Um, and then I joined 900 on band uh, on stage in the UK because I was on tour there. Um, and then we've been trying to do stuff. We did a couple things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, Wonderfront um, in like San Diego, fun. which was, was super cool. cool. Um, if they only knew how many things we tried to do. We've been trying. So I know hard we to... had some of the best things that never happened. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's a busy guy. Yeah, no, it's not that. No, it was it things was like, just got canceled. It was like COVID stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like we we booked something that was like, oh, this is gonna be insane. Yeah. And then COVID. how many songs are you gonna sing? No, no, I wasn't even gonna. Be, oh. I wasn't. It sounded like you were in it. No, I was skating. <laughs> oh, wait, what? The, the the stuff we were booking was some of it was was we put up the, put up the ramp. In fact, one was like literally at this cocktail party, um, which still has the potential to happen. But a cocktail party of this huge convention, yeah, and it's massive, right? It's yeah. a big tech convention, and they'll have a huge band play. Uh, last it was time. the Killers. It was they, the Killers. Like, killers and like Michelle Obama uh, to be there. Michelle last year they had Maroon Five. They, last year the, the one year that I that we got to do it before you guys were in the mix. Yeah. Um, Michelle Obama was speaking. Maroon mm. Five played, and then we were the cocktail hour entertainment. Our ramp was in the middle of the cocktail the area. Ramp? Yes. Wow. So people coming in like dressed up, hey. cocktails in hand. And a vert ramp. Vert ramp, blasting our music. And they're just like, oh, oh, yeah, yay. And then some people get super wasted. And they're just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Spilling drinks and stuff. But so these guys were going to play at the base of the ramp during that event. Yeah. It was going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah, you should still try to make that We're happen. still trying to make it happen. Yeah, that's a great idea. Anyway, that's why. Um, and yeah, then there was no, other I mean, things, too, though. Yeah, with, like, was like, I mean. Something like South Carolina or what was the, the talking to Mark Salt Lake City? That was what he's talking about. Yeah, Salt Lake yeah. City. Yeah, yeah. No, the one that was in like Virginia. Oh, oh something oh. in the water. Yes, yeah, something oh, yeah. in the water. Yeah, that one might come around again too. Yeah. That's Pharrell's event. Okay, and you're not singing. You're just gonna watch her skate. Skate. Okay. Let's Hopefully. not count it out. Let's not count it skate, out. Right skate, skate, sing. It he, does it he does it all. No, but but so the, the way that I mean, if you want to know the, like, the, the details <laughs> of it, the way the the way the Casbah show came out is because Ryan had been talking. And was like, oh, I'm just keep trying to do this, and then I ran into a promoter. I went to go see Peter Hook uh, perform um, from New Order Joy, Joy Division, and a promoter, um, Jessica. She's she was talking about shows and stuff. I was like, we're trying to do this with this band, and like we just keep getting. You know, something comes out, we get canceled. And she's like, I could pick up a show. I'm like, really? Just like, like that. Yeah, if, if, you know, if we can use your name in it. And we was like, yeah, let's do it. And then off she went, Casbah. Wow. It was so fun. Boom, do you guys away. enjoy Tony singing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is it weird to uh, be in a band? Just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird to have a band that's, you know, a tribute to his video game, and then he's like, "Yeah, man, I'll, I'll, like, who did he say? I I know him. He didn't say, can I sing in your band? You asked him, right? One hundred percent. Yes, of course. <laughs> Whose idea was that? And do you think it went good? I think it went super well. Yeah, yeah. like I'm were you only impressed being by his vocal? The other singer talk. <laughs> I'm like, were you I impressed, can answer, impressed but... by his vocal ability? Yeah, I mean, also not to be weird, but I saw him on Mass Singer, so like, I mean, oh, he yeah. had the vocal chops and. Yeah. uh it was like it was. I do remember there was a part where, uh, like, where it gets a little fast in a police truck where you dropped off, but it was like it worked. Like it was good. Like I don't know. It was, also, it was, it was fun. A, that was a super cute oh. moment where like you could see you like trying to find the words, and Maggie does this like a look over you like Tony. Like <laughs> yeah, come on. I was. So I, I had. <laughs> so all the songs in the game and then for early games only lasted two minutes, right? Yeah. Yes. And so you got to know those two minutes so well, but then anything beyond two minutes, especially like Superman the, or- The bridge and Superman. Yeah, yeah. like I don't yeah. I don't know what comes after two minutes. So yeah. when, when we went to the police truck, I was like, oh, I got this. And then up to two minutes, like, oh wait, I don't have the rest of the lyrics. Oh. <laughs> and so then I had him, I had him scrolling on my phone, like yeah. a teleprompter. Yeah. And when I looked down to find that I like I, I can't see very far, and I had it way down by the monitor. And I was like, "Oh no, I'm lost." Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And then she started singing. I was like, "Wait, we're on now." <laughs> it worked. I looked over. I looked yeah. over, and then I I caught up to it. But right. that 
that was what happened. There you go. That's my story. I've done that <coughs> in my band because we tried it. We were like a comedy band, so we made songs that were. I made songs that I like, and then we did songs that I have no interest in being a part of. And we wrote lyrics in there. You know, a lot of comedy in the lyrics, but it's a lot of lyrics. And when you do a set. It's like over an hour of songs, and some of those songs I do not remember. I, how I don't know it goes. how she remembers all of them, but I had a I had a piece of paper that had so, some of the lyrics on it, and every now and then, if I knew I was blanking out, I would flick through pages between. <laughs> like I'd go down there and be like, "Oh, oh yeah," and yeah. most of the people in the front were just laughing at me. They're like, "He doesn't know the words to his own song." <laughs> Well, like, yeah, that makes sense for, like, big, I think, like, big cover bands when they're like, oh, we have a book of 500 songs. Like, that makes sense to me when people have, but yeah, I'm like, we play, sure. we play, like, 15, 20 songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah but I, I, I mean, I get you what you're saying, but they're they're not all easy. No. 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 Um, the, the, the dude in the 900 band in the UK, he's got just sheets of papers. Because I think some of the songs he's not even really fans of. He's like hardcore punk dude. Yeah. And oh, sure. I understand. Um, yeah. But he's got all the lyrics of every song, so he's just flipping through papers. Well, I mean, the great news is if you if you forget a thing, you can just kind of scream for most of these songs, mm-hmm. and it'll, you know, right. you'll be able to slide by. Also, like, the crowd knows a lot of the lyrics. I was going to say, I used to do that. <laughs> yeah. If I blank out, I'd be like... And then people would yeah, start exactly. singing. I'm like, oh yeah, that's how it goes. They're like, you have <laughs> such great crowd work, Jason. How yes. do you how do you do <laughs> it? That's what it, nobody said that. Yeah. <laughs> so is Superman the the crowd favorite usually? Um, that's the one people like know all the words to. I would say that like energy wise, just maybe even feeding off us, like Gorilla Radio is Gorilla where Radio. We get the most yeah. like same same from the audience. And then Blitzkrieg Bop, we tend to do as like an encore. Mm-hmm. And I think after the like excitement of Superman, then we keep going, and everyone knows every word to Blitzkrieg Bob. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a. At the Casper, we did get like we were not going to play an encore, but they were we earned an encore. We which, did, which is weird. That was the the warmest room we've ever played to. They, that that crowd was so on fire. Like we, a bunch of us come from like comedy and improv backgrounds, so we've been on stages of all kinds, and we've been in the band for a long time. And we've, so we've played to a lot of different crowds. That night, at least for me, was the best room I've ever oh, played yeah. to. Oh, yeah. There were people asking for the set list. Like I was brought yeah. back to me being a 17 year old doing that at shows. That was a yeah. like, very <laughs> surreal moment. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and at the same time, like like pro skaters that like we only see on Instagram ever are coming up to us at the end of the show and like congratulating us and just high-fiving and that sort of stuff. It was incredible. Like we, it, it, I was I was a little disappointed because there are few were supposed to show up and all didn't for various reasons. Um, it was a big, big surprise for you guys, but then they, they didn't show up, so I apologize. But okay, was, don't tell us too. It'll still be a surprise. <laughs> I'm curious. Just, it'll still be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Bucky had his 50th birthday the night before. Oh, amazing. And he was all, he, he, he reached out to me about it. Um, he's like, I want to come see that. I was like, yeah. yeah, sure. And then I got a text somewhere in the middle of the day, like, yeah, last night was kind of rough. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to make it to, t- well, also you guys started at 9, 10, 10 p.m. Yeah. 10. Dude, 10 p.m. So on past a, my bedtime. On a Sunday. <laughs> on a Sunday, yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude. On a school, on a school <laughs> night, school, school night, night week. Yeah. Um, so that played into it too. But anyway, um, yeah. And then Jamie dude. Thomas kind of said he was going to come, but he didn't. So there you go. Thomas. Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Thomas. Yeah. Um, but we have we have more opportunities, I think. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll bring it all together. All right. So what are uh what is your f- let's just go individual favorite songs to play? Yeah, do the this has to be in the set list or I'm not showing up song. We all have that kind of personality. Yeah. Well, I just feel like I mean Jerry was a race car driver. Is just well. First of all, it's one of the, the first worst songs. song in the world to Terrible. have sex with. <laughs> <laughs> sex with? Or Sorry, two? Sex, <laughs> sex two. Both. There's no worst song. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've said that. I did a show yeah, on it. Like we the, voted. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like the, the whole world. Inch. Like, what are we talking here? Yeah, the the physical album. Are we? Uh, <laughs> no, the he, song. He means that's the soundtrack, but yeah, he's got beef with that song. I don't got beef with that song. Only if my pants are off. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we should pause this. And well, no, I'll, I'll, and then make, I, I, and I'll, I'll change your mind. It needs, right. it, needs it needs to be played live. It needs to be played live. Okay. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> How is that one for you? It's As fun. a singer. <laughs> Wait, Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh. It's fun because it's it's kind of like a break for me. It's not as fast. And like that's this is Brian's fast mm-hmm. song. 
It's the most fun. It's the most fun at bass-wise yeah. in when just jamming. I did fall on my ass during that one performance of Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I fell straight at wall because it was like at a Halloween thing, and I wore heels being like, I'm going to be cute. And then as soon as I was on stage, I was like, this is not working. I'm just going to be in my socks. And you know the part where it's like, <laughs> go! I was like, now I'm going to jump into, it's like, you know, two feet high. I'm going to jump off the stage into the crowd and, you know, dance with people doing this part. And I literally cartoon went, whoop! And like, just like slipped on my, like, right on my oh. ass. And one of my friends is like, her ass is broken, her cock is in. Like, just talking about my butt bone. Uh, but I was okay. No. Anyway, talk about your song, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. It's pretty, it's great. If you have a, okay, what about yours? Um, I have two. That, so the first one for bass is AFI, Boy Who Destroyed the World. Um, that one just like, is after you play it, it's like my heart's pumping. It's just mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it just slaps. Um, and then the other one is like Let Me In by Screaming Females because it's just like for me I get to sing and play guitar and also just like Screaming Females since the game has been one of my more recent favorite bands so it's hmm. they yeah. rule yeah they're awesome rule. hard wait Maggie okay, what's, what's yours? yours I don't know now I'm nervous um I don't, <laughs> nervous? we're only gonna judge you it's okay are you? I don't, I'm like I this like all those permanent. songs you actually you know what back. I like um, I like You're Not the Same by Body Jar what it's more of a wow. pop punk song okay yeah. Yeah. I like I, it's melodic okay. I like that as a, as a vocalist, I enjoy doing that. Do you know this band called Body yeah, Jar? Yeah. I, I was friends with them in Australia. Oh, okay. Were you? Oh, that's right. I mean, it's pretty I hard not to. <laughs> there's a band that's pretty successful in Australia called Body Jar. Yeah, it's a skate trip. And from time to time, oh, they would okay. be at skateboard demos. And I remember it was pretty early. Like, it was back in the day. And I was like, hey, man, you guys are like pretty heavy. <laughs> and they were like, yo, Jason Ellis. And I'm like, wait, you know who I am? They're like, yeah, man. I'm we're like, body jar. Man. <laughs> I'm like, I think I get it now. But <laughs> I was on tour with them a few times. They were always really cool. Jason's last big injury was from doing a body jar. Yeah. Wow. For, the, name, you know, name checks out. The people who don't know, like I know, but for the people who don't know, <clears throat> could we explain what a body jar move is? You go up in the air and you turn around. Backside. And you hit your tail on the way in. Okay. You go, okay. you go backside air, and then as you're coming in, you smack the tail. But you actually kind of, you don't just hit the tail. You kind of like put a lot of weight on it. Okay. It makes mm -hmm. a really loud sound. Um, but there is a real good chance that if you are misjudging it, you hit your wheels, and your wheels hang up. And I did that. All of your weight and all of your momentum that is trying to bring it down just goes straight to the flat. So you go like on your head and shoulders. Mm. That's what he did. Yeah. Body jar hang up is one of the worst. Like you, if you do a, if you do a regular air and you hang up, it's a bad slam. But when you're in a body jar position, it means you're even up above the board more. So there's even that much more yeah. weight and energy to crash. It sucks. It was like ten in the morning. I was like, man, I'm <laughs> tired. I gotta get the cobwebs out. And then next thing you know, I'm on the flat and everyone's asking me if I'm okay. And I'm like, man. You are so bad at this. <laughs> it was that was in really bad. Utah. August. Yeah. He, you still haven't skated. No. Dang. Oh, wow. wow. So beware of body jars, you guys. Yeah. When you start skating again, just FYI. This is why I'm glad you like the band, though. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> I already I like said mine. Guys. Oh, you're right. yours. Yeah. Yeah. Please, truck. Yeah. No, no. I think no. I agree with Sierra. The AFI song, I had already been listening to them for years. So, like, the fact that they were on the soundtrack was such a nice surprise. Um, but basically all the fast ones, like that and Lagwagon, like mm. if, if I get to drum real fast, then I'm pretty happy about it. So you yeah, you probably had already sort of formulated your taste in music before the game came out. Yeah, I right? think I'm the oldest person in the band. So I had, Not I'd in the room. Been, uh, not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of the stuff that was on the soundtrack, I was like, oh, I know this song. Oh, I know this one too. So it was like every game that came out was a new surprise of, music I already liked, and then I also got to play the game to those songs. It was awesome. And then to be able to now play in a band that plays all those songs that I grew up on. Did you play in a band before that? I played in a few, yeah. I was in, uh, uh, in Chicago, I was in a band called Broletariat, which was uh, oh my God. <laughs> like a comedy metal band about uh, communism. Sick. <laughs> um, and then sense. a few other bands prior to that, you know, high school and college. What stuff. would you say your favorite band was before, prior to all that? Uh, before this band was yeah no your your favorite like you just had a favorite band like oh my personal yeah. favorite no effects all day long no effects yeah I I discovered them in the seventh grade and never looked back everybody else has looked back since no, that's then cool. <laughs> yep. but I love them they I mean their newer albums I can kind of take or leave but their old catalog I'll listen to it every day 
Oh, sick. We did get to see um, why am I speaking? Closer. What's uh, why am I spacing on his name? Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. yeah. we got to see him do improv because we played a, a show at a comedy theater in LA. Uh, that was ex- that was exciting. Yeah, he did stand up. No, he was doing improv. Did improv. Who was what? El Jefe. What's the oh? What's I- the improv difference? is like a group of people, and it's like you make up. A scene oh, he's up spot. there with a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 What a weird evening. <laughs> <It was> yeah. <laughs> like, who else was up there improv with him? It was this show called Scene Kids uh, at the Pack Theater, um, for people listening. Um, but it's, like, just a bunch of punk kids who do some improv, and at the end of the night, they go on the stage and, like, just sing, like, kind of, uh, why am I, uh, Against Me sort of style acoustic Is there a band? Rock. Well, we were the band that night. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But right. usually I think it's just one of the MCs or... Mm-hmm. There's, you know, comedy. It's like a midnight show on Saturday. Just to give you kind Does of. Does this taste happen of it. regularly, or is that a one-off thing? They do it. I think like once a month. Is he there regularly? I think he was he, a guest that night. I'm okay. not sure. He's part of a team. He was yeah. part of one of the team, the improv teams at. That like, sounds the cool. Yeah. 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 We decided to be really cocky and play "Separation of Church and Skate" in front of him, which is <laughs> his band song. And uh, there, this was like a room of like 30 people, all seated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and he's one of them and he said did a good job <laughs> nice <laughs> that's good and he did agree to take a picture with us and he is smiling in the picture <laughs> that is, that's as much as we got from him though we, I sang a Aussie song um, Crazy Train and befriended the bass player of Aussie Blasco and then Blasco was like I could uh play that song when you guys when you do another gig and I was like you're shitting me (laughs) he's like no man I'd love to and I'm like okay and I didn't think anything but excitement and then right before the song started I realized that I was going to sing next to the guy that plays to the real singer and that I'm not going to be doing as good a job (laughs) as his usual uh, bandmate, don't sell yourself short, Jason. But I remember yeah. looking at you, know, he was like, Yeah, man, and I was like, Yeah, oh, you just made me so much more nervous by going, <laughs> You got this, and I'm like, What if I don't got this? And then we played at the Roxy, and he brought the drummer of Ozzy wow. to wow. do Crazy Train. So at one point, I had the bass player and the drummer, <laughs> and, and, and our shitty band, and me being the vocalist. And I was, I was just so it was so hard to focus because. My band is awesome, but these guys were doing it in a total different way, even though it's the same song, but I was immediately like looking back going, wow, you're a really good drummer. <laughs> you're going places. Yeah, 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 don't give up. <laughs> so, okay, what's next for the downhill jammers? Uh, the long, cold winter of, oh, I thought you were t- <laughs> So you're talking about after the El Jefe show, what happened? Like, <laughs> long, cold winter of COVID. Of COVID, yeah. <clears throat> now, let's fast forward to here and now. We we oh, did we oh, did the Casbah. Oh. Um, and then uh, hoping to do more like it. Yeah. Yes. What did you guys think of Adrian Domain? Uh, that was great. We Well, he was at the Skateboarding Hall of Fame show, too, that we yeah. almost played. Oh, did he play all those covers there? Yeah. I don't he, he did, like, cocktail them. hour. Yeah. Sort of like yeah. an hour. You heard Adrian. Set. Adrian does oh, ukulele yeah. punk covers. They're yeah. sick. Uh, he's yeah. so awesome. good. I was super stoked because he did uh, "Beautiful World," which is like my favorite Devo song, and I was just like, "Oh, it was just yeah. so perfect." Yeah. It was really good. He's cool. Yeah, that was that was great. Also, also Harsh Mellow. I mean, I Harsh Mellow. No yep. idea who they were and who. Uh, oh, oh his name? Otis. Yeah, yep. Otis. Um, I was like, these guys. Are, Otis, of course, so, why they're so <laughs> he's like on tour with Fu Manchu. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otis hit me up because he knows everyone in San Diego, or he just knows everyone in the music industry, basically. But yeah. uh, right when we started talking about this, it wasn't even booked yet, and Jessica had lined up the Casbah possibly, and he hit me up like the next day, like, so I want to play that show at the Casbah. <laughs> like, wait, what? I don't even. We didn't. How? How do you even know about that? <laughs> What's going on? So that's how he got involved. Everywhere, yeah. He's What's that? Everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that was super fun. Um, yeah. We were like, why are you opening for us? Yeah, they it was like cool. one of those moments. Yeah. But um, well, that was cool. You guys are headlining. That's yeah. the way it goes. Yeah. The downhill Everything downhill else falls right. in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's just been a very a series of very surreal moments that keep getting more and more surreal as, as it goes <laughs> on, uh, leading to right now while we're sitting here yeah. at your yeah. podcast. Yeah. So it's like we have to oh, just keep yeah. checking ourselves of like, wait, how did we get here? 
Well, I hope I the, get that. I hope the train keeps <laughs> yeah. moving. Our our show at the Casbah like was the first time that I actually felt like we had a right to like do that like encore thing where you like oh we're not we're done we're not gonna yeah. play anymore <laughs> like I don't know I mean maybe yeah. if you cheer a little loud you know like yeah. I actually started putting my guitar away and yeah. <laughs> kind of doing that too so that was kind of fun like the the energy at that show was like, what was the encore Blitzkrieg Blitz 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 okay yeah. Yeah. you yeah. see you didn't just automatically go into it it was. Like yeah, we did like we're putting our guitars in a way. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> like end of Superman's a big cheer, obviously. Yeah. So right. It's, it's a good place to go out if 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 it's if it's right. Well, I but. apologize. I know you asked me to join in on Blitzkrieg Bop, but I I couldn't. Oh yeah, all good. I, I couldn't stand on my leg anymore. Literally, it was I was like four days out of surgery. So, yeah. um, it, it was just like a low hanging fruit. Like this will be a, such an easy song to learn, but like yeah, I wouldn't have screwed that one set. up. Yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the words are there. Yeah. yeah. You were worried about lyrics, and I was like, okay, so not Guerrilla Radio. <laughs> well, also, I will say, I kind of soft-pitched this to Ryan. I was like, because I remember you saying, sorry if I'm outing you for taking violin lessons. I was like, well, let's get Tony on violin. You can sit and do yes, violin. please do that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you do I'm sorry, I'm, I, have, I am picking it up again. Like no. <laughs> nice. Why do you guys say no? What does Whoa. that mean? An excitement, you paranoid oh. dickhead. What the hell? <laughs> I thought you were like that guy at Metallica. Like, no. Yeah, no. No, I, no, no. I can't believe you're really going to do I, that. I, um, we should the, jam. Yeah, Wait, let me let me learn a little more. What's that? Do you play violin? No, I play guitar, guitar and oh, okay, stuff. yeah. He's good. He shreds. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't Strictly shred. Metal. What's that? I'm just trying Strictly to explain. Strictly metal, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a power chord maniac, baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm Chubby learning. Fingers, I'm not learning. Much on with, the with the help of an expert. Thanks, Zach. You're out there. <laughs> What's your gear? What's your ge gear? What's your gear rundown? What do you got? You got oh, uh, Gibson Explorer, or uh, <laughs> uh, I got a Les Paul as well. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I I, I got a little Marshall stack because I don't need a giant one anymore. The no. the rock and roll life is gone. You mean like a half stack? Like that's yeah. funny. Yeah, like that's the funny. combo one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's still. Pretty it's pets, powerful pets, enough to piss yeah. off the neighbors, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. That's the goal. Do Love you it. have an electric violin? Like, can you? No, I, I, I want to get one, though. That would yeah. be sick. You gotta. If you can play violin, does that mean that you can play the double bass? Because that's like a giant violin. I don't know. Or the cello. Is that what I, I feel like the cello, cello would be the next yeah. thing. Like, Wait, that would be the next. The bow. Yeah. It's just yeah. a medium. What's a double bass? A real big one, right? Where you go do, 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 do. And then down. you can stand on it, spin like this. Yes. If you're, oh, like some if you're... straight, straight cats. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Um, no, but I do want to, like, I, I, literally when I was young, I, I was 10 or 11, I had been playing violin for a year or two, and my music teacher wanted me to do all these like outside of school concert stuff that, you know, like, oh, here are some of our star students and they play concerts and things. And, and that was conflicting with going to skate events. Yeah. And I told him like, oh, well, I, we got to, you know, go to this. I mean, I was just getting sponsors. Like I got to go to this event in LA. And he's like, you can't, t you can't do both. Shit. You have to choose one or the other. And I was See like, ya. oh, wow. I do. Were you a classic violinist? No, I just played, whatever. I just played in the school, like classic. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, they were, whatever it was that they were throwing at us, I don't remember. But you Hot were really bus. good, like good enough that they wanted good, to. Good enough, yeah, yeah, for sure. So you could have been a violin I don't prodigy. Know. Uh, you could be the Tony Hawk of violin. <clears throat> I could have been competent in violin. Right. Yes. And then when he said I had to quit, I literally was like, oh, then I guess I quit. Yeah. And I always regretted that because through the years I was so jealous of people that could play music and I was just like, man, like I should have just kept doing it. Anyway, I'm trying to get back to it. Do you think like Do it. doing it all over again, violin would have been what you would, like knowing what you know now is violin where you would, where you would go still? That's a tough question. It is a weird thing to I think up. I think I would have done it, but I would have been more trying to, to do it like in our genre of music. Yeah. So I would have been trying to. I still do. Like yeah. when I hear something, like oh, I want to try to figure out how to get that note. You guys yeah. watch Wednesday? That's more punk. Yeah, so good. She plays. Chill. What cover does she play? She does like a a legit song from this era on the Wasn't on the it cello. Like Raining was it? Fire or something? Or no, it was like. It's like a it's song. Like that, a Slayer song. Oh, it's Raining not Blood? a Slayer song, but no, it's was pretty. Metallica was it Peter oh, okay. Black? What Maybe that was, was what it was. That's a Stone song. Oh. Um, no, I don't know. A whole lot of people who know this. Let's see, there's, I know. There's, <laughs> there's, All there's I know is seven of us, and there's a bunch yeah. of people there like, it's this, you idiots. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we gotta it's, give something to comment. It's a good song, and it's if you played that, I was like, dang, that is awesome. I like violin. Or yeah. what is it, a cello? Yeah, cello. cello. Wednesday plays the cello. Okay, my bad. But still, that you know, made you know me how like I picked it. up. I'll tell you, how I picked up violin again, just just like as casually. Because I had one, I've had one that my um, my mom's boyfriend before they both passed away handed to me when he, from when he was young. So it's like a violin from oh, 1950 or something, oh, wow. 19, maybe even like 1940, and yeah. it's, it's super cool. So I picked it up and I learned how to play um, the Game of Thrones uh, <laughs> oh, theme. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. And I was like, oh, I could maybe do this again. Yeah. So that, that's my story. It just came out of you. We should be yeah. a game. Of, <laughs> kind of, well, it's kind of like, because uh, really yeah. long, as long as it's a long bow in the beginning, I can do it. Mm. But let's if it take requires short bows out. and short notes, no. Let's be Game of Thrones cover band where we only do Game of Thrones songs. <laughs> like, well, it's just that or one. Just I think it's yeah. Any yeah. songs of any. The, the existence of Tony Hawk Pro Skater cover bands means any soundtrack is fair game now. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I have an idea. Yeah, I don't know. I think I that's, know. you can't cast a wide net like that. No, I know. I just want to do a Jay Giles cover band called the Argyles, and we only wear Argyle. And we cover like Freeze Frame, Angel in the Center Folds. And that's it. That's the Those whole only two. <laughs> Wait, what else? Jay Giles. Maybe just play them again. Um, oh, did they do Love Stinks? Am I making that up? Is that, I don't know. They're Love Stinks. Oh, yeah, maybe. This is out of my. Well, Bubble. I think it's a great idea. You, didn't you just pitch another cover band? Yeah. Okay, my, you guys were talking about doing covers. <laughs> I, I will allow you Freeze Frame. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can throw a freeze frame into the mix, but that's it. Okay. Great. Okay. I love freeze frame. Yeah. yeah. There's keys. It's a good one. Yeah. No, we were gonna make an exception for Skater Boy. That was gonna be the one exception. Yeah. See, that one's that's tricky for me. I mean, just because that came so much later, so it's yeah. not. I get it. Yeah. I love yeah. you know. I mean, I agreed. I even agreed era. to do yeah. her TikTok about it. Mm -hmm. She slammed so good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. she fun. almost you almost broke Avril yeah. Lavigne. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she, seriously, <laughs> she was she was she, to just to close that out. She was very accommodating, very cool about it, and Did it was you fun get doing to touch it. Touch her. <laughs> People don't want to. She's not. You're not allowed to touch her. Well, well I was like, pushing have, like, her on the ramp. Like, you're like you're not allowed to do, look at her or do this. If or you that. do a photo with her, she has face. a thing where they they tell you not to touch her. Oh, oh. like she's specific. The oh, right. I think I was exempt from that just because we were right. shooting in such close quarters with you the were cool video, and I had to match her. Like she was sitting on the ramp, so I had to match exactly how she was sitting. So I had to like come in. Okay, here she is. All right, like. Let me get in that exact position because I had to match where she was. But you don't know for you TikTok. Know. You haven't seen it. Okay. Wait, you, she becomes you. Yes, he's the skater boy. I want to see I'm the that. skater boy. We said see you later, boy. But and so, then I skate her mini ramp. That's the music video. Like that's her. That's her the TikTok. Ramp, oh. Like in her. It's her yard. ramp. Yes. Like she owns it. Oh. Yeah. Does she actually skate? No. She can drop in now. <laughs> I, so I did. I did teach her to drop in in that day <laughs> on, on the low part day. of a ramp. That's huge. And Jason yeah. likes to point out that she almost got really, really hurt. Yeah, she did a slam that Where a lot of people your when ankle they do would do that break. slam. Yeah, and she but, got out of it. And I was and I watched it happen in slow mo. And I was like, yes, she's okay. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> walk away from this lawsuit. That was a good idea. You need to get yeah. out of there quick yeah. before she, she starts trying cool. to do it again. But um. Uh, what's his name? Feldy? Mm -hmm. John Feldman yeah. was there, and that was the first time I met him. He's the guy that it sings blows Superman. my mind. Ah. I can't believe that that's He's the first her time producer. Met. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. her producer, yeah. Oh, I yeah. had no idea. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And I did I did my own video with him mm -hmm. that I'll have to show. I know I have it on my phone where I tried to sing Superman remember, back and forth, it, and he yeah. screwed it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He messed up the lyrics. His own song. Yeah. His own song. But you got it right. Dude. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so yeah. What's up cool. with that guy? They really are like that's he's he, moved on. That's he Yeah, but like that's the one song that like well, that so made you, the band. Talk like, about talk about your yeah. dream scenario that you were trying to oh, put yeah. together. Okay. Well, in you'll like Avril, and hate this. You'll hate this, but you'll like it. Okay. Yeah. I'm I can't wait. I'm ready to just, hate just it. Just Go ahead. look at you while I do it. <laughs> okay, so we're we're playing our set, right? We're playing our set. Everyone's super jazzed, you know, already. We, no, no, no. You got to talk about you want to put set a, up. Do, do a whole theme Oh yeah, no skater show, boy night. Skater boy night at this club. Yeah, it's gonna be. You already I, hate that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've heard of emo night, right? Like emo night's a big thing. Do I look like I've heard of emo <laughs> night? <laughs> kind of. I mean, yeah, the pink. 
pink hoodie and the beanie. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of actually, a, you kind of do. You kind of do. You actually fit the bill exactly. Yeah. Shit. I mean that as a compliment. Yeah. I know, but I'm not taking it. <laughs> You're ironically emo. Yeah. Oh, that's that makes you feel better. That makes you seen, actually. That's a seen kid, right? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I definitely um, want to be seen. You are. You are. You are. But <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a theme night. Skater that's, Boy that's, Night. That's, skater Boy Night. Where everybody dresses as Avril Lavigne or oh, what are whatever, doing? whatever. However you take that. If you want to take that Avril Lavigne, you want to take that as like skater apparel, you want to wear your thrasher or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so that's the theme of the night, right? And then so we play, obviously, easy tie-in, skate, Tony Hawk Pro Skater cover band. Yeah. We get to the end of our set. Superman happens. John Feldman comes up, the singer, the of, singer, the of, singer of the song. song okay, right? Uh, he does the song with us. My, everyone's mind is blown, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Love that this is being pitched right now. <laughs> yeah. This oh is, no, no, it was pitched to me. Yeah, <laughs> it was pitched to me the months and months ago. Longest text I ever sent Tony. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you for reading it. <laughs> and, and and then so okay, it shows over. That's great. Encore as we do, we do the intro to Skater Boy. John Feldman stays up on stage. Avril Lavigne comes up on stage. She's going to do Skater Boy with us. The chorus hits. Guess who comes on stage for He Was a Skater Boy? Tony, Tony freaking Hawk yeah. comes up on stage. This is a huge stage because we already have eight people in the band. Yeah. So now we've got 11. Yeah. I would jump off since I assume Avril would sing, and I would just start the pit or start fights. Yeah. Uh, sorry, just wow. Fast. Yeah. yeah. She would go into the pit with a skateboard and start hitting people. Yeah. Grip tape side up. At this yeah. point, Real at this nasty. point, the crowd is in such a fervor that it's it's sort of like when the Dodgers win the World Series or something, and in LA gets torn down. But well, you've really envisioned this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you, what do you I think? That's I think before the tour. I see. That's before the tour. I don't. I guess in my head, in terms of the interest of music, I don't see a lot of crossover mm. with our type of soundtrack and the punk stuff into a roll. But yeah. But I'm all, I was it's I was all the, ears. I was down. Yeah. I actually hit up John, asked him about wow. the, the possible dates. But then the whole thing fell apart. Yeah, it, yeah. because the, the club was not. Like very, I said, I'm uh, a notes app. They idea were not guy. agreeable. I, they, I get these ideas and I just got to get them out. Like <laughs> this whole band idea was one that just like kept. I like it. At me. I, I do. I mean, I like that you had that big vision for it. I know you. And I don't think it's vision. outrageous. I don't. Th I don't think it's impossible. I don't because I feel like. And I'll go on record. I feel like both of them kind of owe me a favor. Hoo -hoo. I agree, and we're here to. I drove the to Malibu to skate her mini ramp. Okay. Wow. That's, that's, that's a pretty good hike. To Malibu. That's, that is a hike. You might as well have just flown. What? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like Taylor Swift? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the Jenners. Um, no. But yeah, no that that was the, that was the pie in the sky, and you you heard me out, and you know so. Uh, it could, it so could, does you're that mean you're gonna happen. wear Skater Boy? Well, the funny thing is, when we were like toying with the idea, like we were like, should we just try it out and see if we know it? And like I know the words because I grew up during that time, and we literally just played it once. We were like, yeah, we got it. Yeah, I had no idea how. It went. Like I knew the chorus, but I was just like, how hard can this be? And we tried it once, and it was fine. We got through it Sick. without having ever rehearsed it. Mm -hmm. So not we're, to brag. We're ready, yeah. Avril. We're ready. <laughs> okay. All right, we're ready. <laughs> Which camera do I look in? Every one of them. <clears throat> okay. You're saying it's not that difficult of a song. It's not that difficult of a song. You I mean, don't at say. least not the drum part. It's pop punk. It's 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 catchy. It's easy yeah. to play. Like all it's the not... best songs are easy and simple. It's, yeah, what it's not it, have you have you had people front of the stage yelling requests? Uh, no, I not so. as much. Wait, as you think. I do think I heard a free bird at the castle. Okay, but I was like, yeah. I, I was like very happy because I was like, oh, yeah. I haven't heard that in so long. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun bit. A when rite of did, passage. Yeah. When we did Wonderfront, because uh, my drum set was right up against the barricade, uh, people kept like slapping me on the back and just saying, like, oh, I'm 14 again. This is amazing. So, like, it's not a request, but it was a pretty cool that's thing. That's pretty to cool. Hear. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah, thing. That's like, awesome. so many people are like, oh, like, they're like, it's instantly accessible because, like, they grew up with these songs. And so many people are like, oh, I just, I really needed that. Like, yeah. I really just needed to be sweaty and screaming a song that, like, really meant a lot to me at 15 years old or whatever. And it's just so cool to be like, I'm glad that we yeah. we did yeah. that for you. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Do you have music videos? Mm -hmm. We have a couple. Mm -hmm. We did some like quarantine lockdown. We're all in our own apartments, sort of like let's do something. So we recorded. I think you guys covers. should should try to do a live one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like do it all live. Just do, it, do live. it live on yeah. our Patreon. 
Okay, yeah. 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 Do that that's, that sounds like an offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Where do we? Where, where, do you guys, will be there. where do you guys practice? Uh, in North Hollywood. In North Hollywood, yeah. So you want to do it like do it there on the ramp? Yeah, I think that's sure. the, the best bet. Yeah. 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 Look, that's the look. Okay. That's Patreon. We should have Avril Lavigne drop in on the vert ramp while they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> so we can rejoice. She was a Just skater girl. Focus, you're focused on her the whole you're time. One of, you're one of us now. Yeah. Yeah, for we that, got, I'm in. We got Jason on board. I'll help her. You got this. Go for it. <laughs> That's your advice. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Oh, man, I couldn't even slide down the vert at uh, Exposure because oh we just God. took a picture up there. And I was like, everyone's like, you can just slide down. It's so easy. I was like, no, 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 no. I <laughs> yeah. need to climb down. And then I had, like, the zoomies once I got on the ground. I was so happy to be. What's a zoomie? You know, like dogs, when they get out of a car, they're like, woo, they run around. Or yeah. kids. Like, that was Let's me. Let's go do it right now. No. Slide. <laughs> you got jeans <laughs> on, you'll make it. This I, is more slippery, too. Okay, so I'll slide. Okay, I'll, maybe. Okay. Yeah. More Patreon-exclusive content because I might wet my pants. Yeah, join our Patreon and watch us. Hurt our friends. <laughs> <laughs> For only five dollars a month, you guys. There's a few songs that I don't play in the set list, and eventually, when I get there, I want to be able to mid set drop my bass, drop in on it, go back up, oh, and then play, keep playing oh, the set. Why drop the bass? Oh, oh keep hell it with yeah. me. Ooh, keep playing with the wow. wireless. Wireless. Yeah. 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 I mean, Maybe I, on a mini. It's like a yeah. Maybe on a mini. Yeah. It's yeah. like that would throw off like your. No, I got it. Gravity. Wait, aren't you skating with a, with your bass in the video? You are there the is video. one, but I'm just like going in a straight line. Oh. That's a start. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that yeah. counts. Start. Okay. Have small okay. Yeah. Well, That's you guys, thing. thanks for making the trip down here, um, and for telling your story, and and for doing the, f for playing the songs, for for keeping the legacy yeah i guess alive of the soundtracks i appreciate it i think it's really cool um i want to thank you guys for having a band that makes tony hawk sing so that i can watch videos of tony hawk singing in a band it's very amusing to me <laughs> i don't know which is more amusing avril lavigne eating shit or tony hawk singing in a band they're well, both next spectacular time. We'll any requests <laughs> for the next for the next, for the next to go popcorn. like any requests um, song yeah jerry was a race, race car driver that would be a sick one i would yeah. You doing a Les Claypool do, would be I, very... I feel like I could do less voice, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Joseph really, goddamn really fast. Yeah, what? there oh. it is. Yeah. You didn't have that to would try. be great. <laughs> you just had it. I, wouldn't I don't know the lyrics, though, like, uh, with a something sticker on his... Bo four, four, sticker four, 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 you can mumble it. Bo yeah. The first lyrics are easier because it's just chair was a lot of just for fun. A lot of just for fun. It's <laughs> a good one, yeah. The there it is. Say the first yeah. line and you it. Oh yeah, that's it. We can just go back and forth. Yeah. You take those hard ones. <laughs> you just say Jerry was a race car driver the whole time. She'll do all the rest. Okay, easy. That's what. That's the next project. Thanks, Jason. Thank you for the. You're welcome, man. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for having us. Yeah. And, thank, uh, you. thank you. Making the game so we could do this. You know. Oh yeah. hey, how's it? How does it the feel to have one of have one of the best? Taste in music in the history of the world. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't. Well, I, I appreciate that very much. I, I can't take all the credit for the soundtrack, um, but definitely my influence was about the original punk stuff. So, uh, and I, I, someone just asked me this recently. Actually, they're like, "What was the moment where you thought, oh, I, I've done everything I can with this?" And it was when we got the Rosillos on the soundtrack. And I know you guys probably don't even know what that is, but. Mm -mm. It was one of my favorite punk bands back in the day. Um, they're kind of underground. They were once called the Revillos, then they became the Rosillos. And and I would every every game I would submit my list. Like here's ones I feel like we've missed or that we you know we should ask again. And every time Rosillos. And it was it wasn't until I think American Wasteland mm -hmm. that they came on, and I was like, I did it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Retired champion. Yeah. yeah. So. If you guys want to hear a Brazil song, okay. you'll love it. It's a female singer. I love it. Yeah. I love Flying it. Flying Saucer Attack. Okay. There you go. That, that's it. That's what's next yeah. for Dan Hill Jam. As okay. far as I'm we'll concerned. Song one day. Right. Ready. Flying Saucer Attack. All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Okay. We got, we, these guys are offering all kinds of stuff for Patreon, so join and we'll see what happens. Sign up. Like and describe and be ready for pain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Sure.